What's happening, everybody? Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, whenever you're joining me for this. Thank you for coming on board. Take a look at this. Um, this video actually was not planned at all. This is just something I decided to do today because of what happened today. So um, it was something kind of cool and uh, I want to share with you. So if you guys are ready for story time, this is going to be a lot of talking, so be warned. But I just want to tell you a quick story of what, what happened to me today when I went uh, out looking for some uh, some collectibles today. All right, so of course this story is going to involve Hot Wheels, as you can see. So um, let, let me start by saying, so what happened was today, I went to uh, Target today. Now I wasn't really planning on it, but I was like, it was early in the morning, so that's a good time to go collectible shopping at Target, early in the morning. So I decided, yeah, let me just pop in there real quick, have some coffee, let me go into to, uh, Target and see what you got. So I went through there, um, I went through the Star Wars section, didn't have anything. So I went around the corner to the, to the Hot Wheels section, and I noticed my man just finished putting some stuff out, which is always a, a good thing. There was a dude put some stuff out. So I came around the corner and um, I saw that they had these speed machines out, which I've always seen the speed machines, you know, online, on, uh, on, other, on other websites to purchase, but I've never ever got a chance to buy them at the store. They're always gone when I go there. So I was kind of excited. Now, I didn't know what this year's uh, lineup was. Um, you know, again, I'm not a Hot Wheels expert, so... Um, I'm always surprised to see what they have and you know to see what the uh, the cars are. So I'm looking at the, the shell, the, the the pegs, and the pegs are full. So I have my pick of pretty much everything. So here I am going through it, and I find uh, a couple that I like, and I find a couple that were you know they're kind of cool. So I grabbed them as well. Now I then moved over to the Hot Wheels side, the regular Hot Wheels, not the premium ones like this one here, but the regular Hot Wheel cars. And while I was going through those cars, um, out of the corner of my eye, this couple came came around the corner, and uh, they were from England. That they, they had, of course, the uh, British accent. And the gentleman was really excited because he saw on the shelf, on the pegs actually, he saw the the two pack, the two pack, uh, four GT two pack, and they also had the Mercedes Benz with a Transport, as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. So he had those. He was very excited. He was, oh my gosh, I've been looking for. Oh, sorry, I don't want to try to do a British accent. It's horrible. But he was like, oh my gosh, I was looking for this. I'm so excited to, you know, he was so excited to see it. And he was with his girlfriend and uh, he grabbed it. He was really excited to, to get those two. And uh, I kind of smiled. I like, you know, it's good to see, you know, someone that's excited to go hunting for these things, you know, like I am. You know, I don't usually see anybody when I'm going in the morning or in the afternoon and see anybody looking for, for cars. Every time I go, they're already all gone and people are already gone with them. So he's very excited to see them. So, um... While he was looking for them, he then came over to their side where the speed machines were. And he got closer to me, so we started talking a little bit. And, you know, I said, hey, listen, man, you got a full, you have a full peg right there. He's like, yeah, I said, this is great. He's like, you know, I can't get these, I guess those certain, that certain um, collection in England because we can't get them. And his girlfriend said, yeah, they cost about 40 quid, which I'm sure that's a lot of money, um, you know, if you try to get them online because, of course, they're going to buy it from eBay if they want to get anything. So they have to do a lot of eBay shopping for some of the, the cars because they don't just sell those models in England or in the, in the United Kingdom. Of course, they do sell Hot Wheels, but certain models don't get over there, I guess. So he was really excited because he's seen them. So he, they tell me, hey, this is our last day of vacation, too. We come in here and this is what we find. This is great. In fact, um, they said that they have been buying so much stuff, they bought extra suitcase, which is very common you know, for folks that are on vacation down here. They bought extra suitcase to bring stuff back. So I said, hey, man, I said, well, you know, grab two of each, you know, because you got them. He's like, well, I can't fit any more. He's like, I can't I can't get any more in my, my, my suitcases, you know. And the girlfriend made a joke about something, dropped a F-bomb about about the airlines. And, and, and that was it. We kind of laughed about it. But really cool folks, you know, very, very excited. I mean, if I, I wish I could have videotaped or taken a picture of this guy's face. I mean, it's what you what what, you know, adult collectors, you know, that we are when we go out there. I get it. Some people say it's for kids. I'm going to go to a whole, a whole video about that later, about what people think about collectible toys or cars or whatever, kids versus adults, all that good stuff there. But genuinely happy. And what was great about it was his last day of vacation. He's buying these things that he can only get here in the States, and he found them, and he's going back with them. I was really excited for the guy. That was really cool. So I told him, hey, listen, you guys have a great vacation. Safe trip home. When I went around the corner, I thought to myself, you know what? I got, I grabbed, a, I grabbed a couple of cars actually from the from the speed machines line. I thought to myself, you know what? 
um, let me take a look at something here. So again, I'm not an expert. And when you look on the back of these you know, packs, you see the cars that are available, okay? Now, I realize now that if I look in the back of this, I see cars, but there's a car that's not on the back of this, that's on the peg, then you know what? It must be a chase model, okay? So here, this Porsche 911 GT3, they have it, and they had it on the peg also in blue and black, but this one here, it's just black, okay? So I was like, well, hold on. So this this has got to be a chase model. Now, excuse my ignorance, Hot Wheels experts, but, you know, I did not really think about that until I looked at the car. So, yeah, so this is actually a chase because it's not listed here. So this is going to be one of the hard-to-find chase models. So, of course, like I said, I usually grab more than one car. <laughs> Whenever I find one I like, um, I grab a couple. I'm being honest with you, um, you know, I just like to keep one in my collection, maybe one to give my son, um, one to put on the wall, you know, just to have that extra, all right? So when I realized that what I had was um, a chase model, I had a couple in my hand, like I said, a couple cars. Um, I went back around the corner to him and said, hey man, listen, um, this one you probably don't have. I said, I think this is a chase. So here, you might know, take this one as well. So um, I gave it to him, I gave him one of them, you know? And uh, again, he was so excited. I mean, his day, he had a great day, you know, and his vacation on a high note. And that's what I love about hunting for these cars and, uh, you know, going through these pegs. You find these things that you don't know if you're going to find them or not. It's easy for certain toy lines or certain collectibles. They have millions of them. Listen, Funko Pop is great, but they have millions of Funko Pops out there. Um, you know, and uh, I know they have some Chase Funkos as well, you know. And I'm starting to get into the chase thing now, and I'm going to do another video about that one as well. But my point is, it was really nice to see this gentleman's reaction. You know, he was uh, he was probably, I mean, he's younger than me. He's probably late 20s, um, probably early, probably no, probably early 30s, you know, him and, him and his girlfriend. A really nice couple. But um, I said, hey, listen, you, you go and take it. So I gave him this one. And I told him I thought it was a chase, and he looked at it, and he believed the same thing. And I just, I just left at that point. So I just want to share that with you guys. I thought it was kind of a cool thing. You know, Hot Wheels are great collectibles. They're not expensive. Um, they're everywhere. And like I said, once in a blue moon, you can come up with something like this, a chase model, maybe a treasure hunt, maybe a super treasure hunt, or maybe just a car that the cases only have like one in them and they're just hard to get. All right. So just want to share that with you guys. Um, I'll do another video in a couple of days. We'll talk about some other... Um, uh, toy lines that have some chases, chase models that I'm having a hell of a time finding. And we'll talk about that later. Till then, hope you guys have a great day too. We'll see you later.